Hey guys, Mr. Short Hitter here. Today I got a real special one for you. A video I really didn't think I'd ever be doing. One of the subscribers, Kaylee Hockey One, wanted me to do a comparison of a range ball to a Pro V1. I did a lot of balls before. I've done 50 plus golf ball reviews. I've also done a review on recycle balls clean green golf balls check them out in the description but i've never done range balls i got my hands on some random range balls this one just says practice on it this one says wilson premium a couple say marathon there's one that says wilson staff on it we're going to take these six range balls and we're going to take six pro v1s that are probably one or two years old first play four holes with this then i'll go inside take these six balls put them up against six pro v1s and see what we get check it out we'll see if we can get it over this creek down here get myself a little room i'm gonna aim it at that bridge uh, we hit a little fade we hit it pretty good it did get over the creek so that's good all right guys so the wind is helping we've got 122 but the pins tuck over these trees around the corner wind's helping slightly just got to play it a little safe here. And we're going to go kind of at the left side of that green. Keep the trees out of play coming out of this rough. Rough kind of caught it a little bit there. So the lie is not too bad here. So I hit a pitching wedge and try to land it up there on the green and let it roll to the hole. So we've got 170 with a hurting wind. I'm just going to hit the club I would normally hit just to see what happens. This is a, a four hybrid. And a hook to the left of the green, maybe short. This is actually a day later. What's today? Tuesday? A few days later. What happened was I kind of got swamped out here and I had nowhere to go, so I couldn't film. I found the same spot I was at pretty close to the same putt. All right, so we've got about six feet here. Line up that practice line. I feel like I'm putting a little better. I figured something out. And if you guys want to know what that is, let me know in the comments. Oh, move my head a little there, but it's a pretty good putt. They all don't go in. We're way back in the shade here. We're going to hit the driver on this hole. 240 to the creek. Pretty good, a little left of the fairway. All right guys, so we're coming out of the rough here. I've got 141, might come out a tad hot. Normally 140 is about an eight iron. I'm gonna hit an eight iron still because really the goal is if we wanna hit this 20 feet short of the hole or so, we're fine. So if we can hit this to 135 yards, we're good. Squirt it right on me. Just a little short. Well, guys, we're about three yards short of the green here, and the fairway's cut pretty low, so I'll just hit a hybrid and try to run it up this hill. Here we go again we've got play one more hole with this range ball i don't even know what kind it is it just says practice on it a little 
little hook not what i was trying so guys that was pretty interesting because we tried to hit a big hook there and i thought i made a kind of a hook swing on it and the ball really didn't curve too much so kind of begs the question will we be able to really curve these balls as much as as we could a, a normal ball so maybe instead of just playing this last hole maybe i'll try to work some balls right to left and left to right and see if we can get some curve on it but we've got 81 yards here to a pin tucked on the front right portion of the green So guys, this ball landed short, maybe a couple feet paces short of the green. Took one bounce. I imagine it didn't have too much spin on it coming from a range ball. So before I get into the numbers, I'm just going to hit three shots with a seven iron trying to draw it. And then I'll hit three shots trying to fade it just to see. No particular target. We're just trying to get some curvature on the ball. It's a little draw. <laughs> that one we cut. Actually went straight right. That one we we pulled, but it was definitely hooking. See if we can fade it. Yeah, that's definitely a cut. All right, guys, that proves it enough for me. We can work the ball both ways. Let's go inside, look at the numbers. Okay, guys, so from 50 yards, the range ball had a 34.1 launch. Spin was a lot lower than the Pro V1. The descent, 43 degrees versus 41. Peak height, 10 yards versus 9. However, one thing to consider here, I found it pretty incredible the differences between the range balls i had a few of the range balls that launched around 29 30 degrees which were very similar to the pro v1 with spin up to 7800 and i had others that launched pretty much like a nitro 37.8 launch spin of 36 3700 and then one was right in the middle three that spun a lot three that barely spun at all and then one that was right in the middle so i thought that was really really interesting with the seven iron, the range ball had four miles per hour less ball speed, launch one degree lower than the Pro V1, spin 1500 RPMs more, carry 17 yards shorter, and total 18 yards shorter. And I'll say that was kind of across all the range balls. There was one range ball that had decent distance, but the rest of them were all short. With the driver, the range ball had four mile per hour less ball speed, launched similar to the Pro V1, spin, extra 100 RPM of spin, the descent, peak height, pretty close, and due to the loss of ball speed, the carry distance was 11 yards shorter and the total distance was 12 yards shorter with the range ball. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Match Monday coming out tomorrow. If you missed the last match, click the video to my right. If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Mr. Shore Hitter, out. My game's obscene now. Hooks and big fades. It's not my day now. Why did I play now? Just clear my head.